Hello everyone. In this video, we will show you how to use Spooky2 PEMF coil from hardware to software. Now, let's start from the hardware part. These two are the USB cable and power adapter of the generator. This is Spooky2 XM generator. This is Spooky2 boost and this is Spooky2 PEMF coil. Firstly, we connect the power adapter. Then, we connect the generator to the computer using the USB cable. Now, we connect Spooky2 Boost. The boost should be connected to the OUT1 and OUT2 of the generator. Please twist to lock the port. Finally, we connect the PEMF coil to the high power port of the Spooky2 boost. We also need to twist to lock the port. After the connection is complete, we can turn on the generator. Now, let's go to the software part. Double click to open the software. The software is loading the database now. We will run XMA program as an example. There are two methods. The first method, enter XMA on preset tab to search factory preset. Then click XMA bracket coil close bracket dash JK. The coil in the bracket means this preset is designed for PEMF coil. Then we go to control tab, tick the overwrite generator and click generator button. After the program is loaded, we can click start button. The generator button becomes green and it means remote program is running. The second method, we can choose shell empty preset, spooky coil, bracket, generator, direct, close bracket, dash, j, w. Then go to programs tab. Use XMA as keyword to search program. We double click XMA1. Now go to Control Tab. Tick the Overwrite Generator and click Generator button. After the program is loaded, we can click the Start button. The Generator button becomes green and it means the remote program is running. PEMF coil should be used on the area we want to treat. And the BN side needs to be put on the skin. Okay, thanks for watching this video.